Japan on March 5th, according to Japanese culture and legend, an ancient demon was released upon Mother Earth. That's right. An ancient demon was allegedly released from its grip in Japan on March 5th. I'm going to venture you into this story and into the predictions and what this means or what this could mean in the way of prophecy and predictions. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joseph Tittle, a.k.a. Spirit Man JT. I'm here to bring you love, light, truth, predictions, and prophecy. And a story about this ancient demon being released from Japan. Be sure again to subscribe down below. Click the bell, click the all so that you get notifications. Check your cellular devices as well. And also give me a like and I thank you for your tokens of appreciation no matter how you bring that through to me. I couldn't do this work and do this what I love to do without you. So I thank you. So let's venture into this story that was just released on March 5th about this demon in Japan. Here's one of the articles here where it tells us that Japan's killing stone said to contain a chaotic demon for over a thousand years splits in half. An ancient legend from Japanese culture has reared its dreaded head. The Sishu Siki killing stone said to seal the spirit of a vengeful demon from the outside world has split in half. A large volcanic rock said to immediately kill anyone who touches it. The Sishu Siki stone is deeply embedded in Japanese mythology and is said to be the transformed corpse of the mythological Tamo no Mei. Tamo no Mei was supposedly a beautiful woman whose spirit was possessed by the nine-tailed fox or the Kitsune a demon spirit known for trickery and deception using disguise. Known to answer any question that was asked of her, Tamomo no Mei was part of a plot to seduce and kill the Emperor Toba, who fell sick as a result. The fox spirit was exposed and hunted by the two mythical warriors, and the spirit embedded itself into the Seshu Siki stone as a last resort which released a poisonous gas that killed anyone who touched it. The spirit supposedly haunted the rock, which was registered as a local historic site in 1957 until a Buddhist priest performed rituals to finally make the spirit rest. Now, it is reported that the killing stone has split in two, likely as a result of natural erosion. According to the Guardian, the volcanic rock has been observed with cracks in it several years ago, likely allowing water in, which helped to erode from the inside. That hasn't stopped superstition from running wild, with tourists that still keep flocking to the demonic rock saying that they feel like they have seen something they should not have. I want to hear from all of you in the comments down below. Do you at all believe it's possible that perhaps there was a demonic energy that was attached to that stone in Japan and that that stone splitting in half is a sign that that demon has been released to reap hellfire upon the earth to Japan and the Japanese people. Is this at all possible? So first we have to ask the question of whether or not a real demonic energy spirit can attach to an object like a rock. Well, in ancient lore and cultures and belief systems still in store today, people do believe that objects can be possessed. And as a spiritual medium, I have learned that spirits and especially demonic energies attach to people, places, and things. And through curses, and I don't know what these rocks specifically say on them, but if there is a curse that holds that demon there, of course there could be something held there. It's splitting in half right after a war started between Russia and Ukraine. There has to be some significance in that, wouldn't you say? My belief, without a doubt, is that we are in a time where we need to start preparing and getting ready to usher in the new earth. And in order to do so with the prophecies that linger, things are going to be destroyed. Demons are already lingering on this planet earth, as you all will agree. And yeah, there are more demons out there and more demons locked into places like that rock that can be released and likely will be released as we have these Satanists doing rituals all over the world, creating more havoc upon the planet, like again, between Russia and Ukraine. 
So we are without a doubt heading into times that could be apocalyptic. If you follow the rest of my videos, you'll see that I talked about the video on the tribulation and the year 2025 to 2032 in that time period and what's going to happen in 2024 as well. We are in very, very dire times, my friends. And that's why we must be in touch and grounded and stay in faith and meditate and pray and do what works for you. I thought I'd pass that story on to you. I thought you'd all find that to be very, very interesting and not really a coincidence at all, I would say. I hope my friends in Japan, because I know I have a, quite a following of y'all in Japan, don't forget to join me every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for Tittle Tea Time Tuesdays, where we go over predictions and prophecies and stories in the news over the past week, along with new predictions and new prophecies each and every Tuesday. Be sure to subscribe down below, click the bell, click the all so you get notifications, check your cellular devices, and again, thank you for giving me a like down below as well. Your love and support means the world to me. And until the next time, as you know what I'm about to say, celebrate life, celebrate you, celebrate the amazing you that you are, that you can be, and you will be in the future. Celebrate the amazing blessings and miracles, the flow of abundance, joy, and happiness to flow into your life each and every moment of every day. The more you do, the more blessings and miracles that you will receive. Can I get an amen? The more we bitch and complain, the more the universe will give us to bitch and complain about. Spearman JT signing off. Until the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Namaste.